On this spring day, Alex Winkler and his pal practiced cutting rads on their bicycle. He calls the exercise therapeutic and meditative and at other times downright thrilling. When I meet someone who rides downhill or knows a little bit how to throw around a bike a little bit, I instantly have like a whole plethora of things to talk about and I've made a lot of friends that way and I think that's a big thing too. It'll bring a lot of, you know, it'll make a lot of new friendships and a lot of new relationships. Dozen showed up yesterday for a status report and to vote on elements they would like to see at the future bike park. Anthony Quintilli on the board of Flagstaff Biking Organization, whose goal is to raise money and facilitate the process. Because of our the way we're partnering with Coconino County, we aren't beholden to the lowest bidder, for example. We can go to somebody who does the best job. Quintilli expects it will attract riders of all ages from all over the state. Um, so this park is geared primarily at mountain bikers, um, but we want we definitely want it to be appealed to a broad array of mountain bikers. Consultants from the International Mountain Bicycling Association have already started work. Although construction won't begin until spring 2014, Shea Farrell says plans call for a number of trails and anemones. We're also developing a dirt jump zone, um, pump tracks, a skills area for beginners through intermediates, um, and even what you'd call a tot track for the little tykes on push bikes. Construction should take six years or less depending on how quickly the FBO can raise half a million dollars it will cost. Honestly, a really therapeutic way to kind of get away from the world, getting, you know, clearing your mind. It's, it's therapeutic, it's meditative, it it's, does a lot for me. And that's all, one reason why I became president of the club, is because I have such a passion, passion for writing that it's really sculpted who I am today. The votes haven't been tallied, the park remains a work in progress. For NAD Today, I'm Cristina Salguero Perez.